during a race, whether it's a hard race or um, an easy race, when you can just relax and actually just breathe and, you know, take the moments in. Uh, some, some races you're so stressed that you, it just goes by and then you're wondering what happened and the race is gone and you can't get it back. But those races when you can actually think while you're running, I like to think while I'm running, and you can just take in the moments and you can hear your teammates screaming and your coach is talking to you. And afterwards, you know, you're just looking at the clock, happy with yourself. I think those are the best moments for sure. Very good. Great job, Sid. All right, catch a break and go to the line. I think she can go wherever she wants to go as far as, 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 far as reaching her uh, potential. Um, obviously, you know, she wants to be one of the world's greatest ever. And, and to do that, you can't just be a one-trick pony. You sort of have to do multiple events. And, and that's the dilemma is that we can isolate just one event and get her to be really good. But, you know, that's not her goal. And, and my, you know, my job is not to identify and, and make plans for the athletes. It's to basically help them fulfill that. So I haven't decided what her plans are and I'm not going to decide. But Sydney wants to be one of the world's best ever. You know, Allison Phyllis-esque. And I think the fact that she can cross over from the hurdles to the sprint is really going to give her that platform. Shoulders forward, shoulders forward. Don't overstride, send your life. Don't overstride, don't overstride. There's, there's always pressure. Um, there's a lot of hype, a lot of expectations, but I think um, for me, I try to control and distance myself from those things because when you let all of those things in, it definitely affects you mentally and uh, your performance as well. But yes, the legs push first, not the shoulders. Shoulders move forward, Sid. Damn good. What motivates me? I think the fact that people look at me as too young, especially since high school, um, making the Olympic team, you know, they, they just talked about how I was too young to be there and so many things. And I think that my message, why I run, is because you're never too young to accomplish great things. And I think being able to be so young and impact so many people, even people that are older than me, is definitely what pushes me to keep going. You know, I have a lot of people come to me on social media and in person at meets and just ask for advice and such. And I try my best to just, you know, encourage them. And definitely through my experience of having people doubt me, having, you know, anxiety and stress, just help them through my experiences to be able to get through what they're going through.